Hello ladies and gents, this is a day in the life of a detailer based in London, central London to be precise. So we're just making our way to the client's place. First things we have to watch out for is all the traffic that's going around in and, in and around London. That's the first thing. Second thing is all the bumps. Now, for anybody that lives in London, there's a lot of potholes and there's even more speed bumps. Right? That's the first thing. And last but not least, you have to watch out for cyclists who don't give two tosses. And you have to all do all of this and still pay your taxes, insurance, road tax, obviously the, the vehicle you're driving, price, whatever, maintenance and everything else. So there's a lot that goes around in the background to someone that comes and cleans your car, details your car, values your car in front of your house. That's why a lot of times we get a lot of customers, I get a lot of customers, they'll be like, so what do I get for this? Well, straight off the bat, before even I, I even arrive at your place, this is what's happening. Obviously, I don't say that to them, but it should be a little opener, eye opener for some people. So yeah, and then on top of that, we might get a customer that's expecting a full valet, but only wants to pay the least, the minimum amount, might get a customer that doesn't want to put add-ons on for their 60,000 plus part, 60,000 pound car. The add-ons 15 pounds, but it will take their pain for three months, five months, etc. So yeah, that's basically it. Catch you guys in another road traffic. So now I'm making my way to East London, to the Edmonton area, and now. Uh, Maybe I can show you guys. That is the Q traffic, wherever you build up, wherever you want to call it, all the way to, and probably after, um, Tower Bridge, London Bridge, wherever, no, Tower Bridge. Where's Tower Bridge? Um, and this is because of the congestion zone, something that we have in London, where if you, drive within the zone one the congestion zone of central london um where the places like oxford street buckingham palace big ben etc they're all over there this area is congested so that means you have to pay you have to pay 12 pounds now if you have a car that has a certain emission level you have to pay another 12 13 pounds altogether about 25 pounds so if I have a client that's within that area, I have to pay 25 pounds. If I have to go from south to north, I have to go around this place, which is obviously longer. It causes more <laughs> more emissions, um, but whatever. Uh, if I want to go through it, I have to pay 12 pounds. If I want the client to, you know, if I if I need to get there shortish, I will pay the 12 pounds. If I don't. I'll just go around. Um, this new emission level zone is relatively new. Uh, Amir Khan's uncle, wherever his name is, started to put, in, in, put, it, put it into effect and now we have to deal with it. Um, soon it's gonna be even more extended. It's gonna cover the whole of England, uh, the whole of London, excuse me. And then we're all screwed. So if you're a working man and you have a diesel van, forget about it. You have to use electric. And do you know what the funny thing is? Where does the electricity come from? Either it's gonna be coal, renewable energy, or nuclear. 80% of the electricity in the UK is nuclear. Uh, about, I think, I think less than 5% is coal, but that's dying out. The rest is renewable. So, but the funny thing is we only make more, I think it's only 4%, so we make 104%. 4% is the extra, we need 100% of it obviously, that's all that we use. The 4% is the extra part. But then, that goes towards cars and bikes that are electric. So that means when everybody goes electric, then we're gonna have to make more electricity. 
And when we make more electricity, we're gonna have to increase the amount of nuclear that, nuclear power plants that we have. And I don't think that we, we're at the level to, to, to be fully renewable. So, just a little, little nice little run here. That's all. Anyway. In and out, uh, love you. Uh, 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 love you. So, this is how it works. This is all of it. It's nice, no? All the traffic. So, it's a bit silly. The way it's There's a cross section of traffic coming from left to right, up and down. And in the middle there's a box it's called a yellow box you can't sit in that yellow box because if you sit in it you get a ticket 65 pounds around 100 dollars if anybody in the uk is in the us is watching but if you're turning right you can sit in it now there's a a road to our right and they're going straight in front of us so they're turning right and so the, all of them come out and they sit in it so by the time it's green for us, they're already sitting in the box, we can't go anywhere. The light ahead goes green, they move forward. By the time they've moved forward and cleared the box, our one turns red. So they move, I don't know, maybe about 10 cars. We move about one. There's two lanes there and you're on one lane there. Welcome to the British system. 